That assistant trainer that I spoke with, she tells me that she was very hesitant about letting their nearly 40 horses go that night, uh, go free. But she said in the end, she had no choice. It's video some of us will never forget. But for the people that were there at the San Luis Rey training facility Thursday, as flames from the lilac fire took over, it's much more to them. Some hay started on fire, um, some shavings and a couple outside pens started on fire, and it just it got obvious that it was more than we were going to be able to keep up with. I'm just like, that's it. we got to get them out of here. Linda Thrash, an assistant trainer for Little Red Feather Racing based in L.A., is one of those people. She had to make the tough call to free their 39 horses or they would die from the flames. In the end, two of them were injured. A two-year-old unraced horse with a promising future named Oddsmaker. The other, a filly named Riri that won its share of races. Riri was initially unaccounted for but was later found. Both horses went down from their injuries and despite efforts to save them, they didn't make it. Thrash says after being told by firefighters to evacuate, she and others stayed to get the horses out and had called for help to get the horses loaded up on trailers. But the flames came too quickly and grew too fast. It got to the point where one of the very last horses we got out of the barn, um, his stable stall was um, right across the shed row from um, a stack of hay. And that stack of hay was fully engulfed in flames and the horse was scared. Um, and and they, um, they feel safe in their stalls so he wanted to stay in his stall and so um, it it took a lot of work to get that one horse to come out. Uh, San Luis Ray Training Center we are told lost between uh, about 8 and 12 barns so there are not a lot of stables left for horses so these horses here will likely remain here for a few months.